This is a video showing how, how to track the stock price and show the growth of it over uh, a period of time using um, historical price information. So we'll start by putting the stock ticker and underneath stock we'll put Microsoft. So we'll go ahead and track that stock's growth. And then we'll show current price and use a formula to show that. So under current price, we'll use equal sign, Google Finance, and then we'll reference A2. So just click A2 or you can type it, comma, uh, let's see. And then you put in quotations, you'll do a space, uh, quotation price close the quotations everything's in parentheses so it's showing the current price of Microsoft is at 243.09 so now we need to get the price from one year ago let's see we'll do one year ago this took me a little while to find, but I eventually found it on a forum. So you do equal sign. And the way they did it was min, uh, put in parentheses, Google Finance. Let's see. No spaces. And then you'll do space. A2, we'll, we'll reference the, um, the stock here, and then we'll do comma, in quotation, price, actually I think it's no space here, that was my mistake, close the, um, close the quotations, do a comma again, and then you just put, want to put the date. So we'll put one year ago. So today is February 17th. So I'll do in uh, quotations 02. seventeen and 2020. Close quotations and then close my parentheses. So the price from one year ago is 187. And we can confirm that by going here, looking at the stock price for Microsoft, 187.23. And it's currently at 243.08. And you can see roughly about the same, a penny difference. So now we have a year ago. And then what we can do is we can take this formula, copy it, paste it here. Um, let's see. So what it did was it changed A2 to B2 in the copying. So we'll just fix that. And what we'll do is we'll change it to, um, 2018 so we can get a different historical price. And close that. So that's going to be three years ago. And we'll go ahead and center it. And then we'll do five years ago. And we just want to get the average for the, uh, basically for the growth of it. Center everything. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Paste that formula in here. Paste. Okay, so I'm just going to have to recopy it, save myself some time. Copy, paste, and change B2 again, and we're referencing A2 because that's where the ticker's at. And we want to change the date to 2016 so we can get five years ago.
Okay, now that's the price from five years ago. Now, what we want to do is basically get the, um, the rate of growth. So we can show growth rate, one year growth rate. That's how I'll put it. What's nice about this is you can just drag it for all your stocks. So once you put the formulas in, you can just drag it for all the stocks. So basically, we're going to do current price divided by the previous price. So we'll do our equal sign. Let's see. Now we'll do current price, which is not B3. It's B2 divided by... Uh, the previous price for the one year so that's c2 and what we'll do for that is we'll put it in parentheses because we're trying to get the growth rate right now and we'll do uh, to the power of one and we'll just put one in parentheses uh, let's see And do a negative one. So now that, that gives you your growth rate. Um, pretty much 29% growth for uh, last year. And we can confirm that with um, Robinhood. So Robinhood is showing a one-year growth of 30.99% and 29% here. So um, maybe some numbers need to be updated with um, Google Finance, but the formulas are correct. So what we'll do here is we'll just drag it. Uh, I don't want to drag it that far. Just three. Autofill. Okay, so we're going to have to make some adjustments with this. Three year. Center that. Five year. All right. So what we'll do is go to the formula. So we're getting, we need B2, the current price, divided by D2. The, the three year so b2 divided by three two uh, d b2 divided by d uh let's see yeah d2 let's see oh and i need to change because it's over three years i'm gonna do one divided by three So now it's saying 37% for the last three years. So, yeah, that's correct. Now I'm going to go here for the five year and fix this one up. Uh, so that should be B2 divided by E2. And then one divided by five. So that's the current price divided by the price five years ago, which is E2. So now we got 35% uh, growth over the last five years. Um, so what we can do is we can average it. We can get the average of the one year, three year, and five year. Okay, we'll center that. And then basically we'll do a sum equation. So we'll go to E, sum, and just click sum, and then basically drag these three. Okay, we'll just do it manually. So that's F2 to H2. Okay. 
with the semicolon, close the parentheses. Now we got this sum, um, and then we need to divide it by 3 because we have three different things that we're averaging out. All right, so the average over the one year, three year, and five years, 34%. And we could uh, potentially, uh, let's see, times 100. So basically 34%. All right. Now what we can do here is we can put, let's see uh, how Apple does compared. AAPL. Let's do MasterCard. Uh, Amazon. Uh, and Google. Some popular ones. All right, so what we'll do is we'll drag all of these and then drag it down. So we need to go to six. Okay. And basically click that autofill. So it's loading the information. All right, so we'll move average over here. Select it, hold it down, drag. All right. So we'll put that right next to it. And basically what we can do here is select that column, go over here, keep selecting the right arrow, and then sort Z to A. So it's basically showing over the last um, one year, three year, and five year, Apple was getting an average of 49% growth Amazon was getting 43, Microsoft was 34, Google 29 and 23. And you could potentially set your allocations in, in accordance with that. Uh, if you wanted to insert a chart and figure out how much you want to put towards each company, do a pie chart, check, and then you just drag that out of the way. Apple 27%, Amazon 23 now, this is a potential strategy I've messed with with companies that I was interested in buying and um, could be something that you uh, works for you. Um, all right. I hope uh, that was helpful. Thank you.